A beautiful charcuterie board will make anyone's night on Valentine's Day or even Galentine's Day. Karen Ormsby with Oakford Gourmet Selections is back on the show to show us how to put one of these together. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It's you great. and I were just talking about how these took off in 2022. Everybody wanted to have a charcuterie board. Right. But do you know how to put it together the right way? Exactly. Exactly. And the thing about charcuterie or grazing is that you just you want to choose what you like to eat. So that's different for everybody. If you're going to make your own, it's not going to look the same, right? So what I wanted to share today is some really simple, easy ideas of putting together something. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, this is just a bamboo storage organizer. So if most people have these and you could put this together. If you're planning a nice night in to watch a movie, just pop something in there and you've got something pretty as well. As you don't need the big board is you what you're saying. You don't need the big board. You can do what you want. So this one has got some fruit, some cheese, some dip, something a little sweet. All the things you would eat. Exactly. Okay. Um, and then these ones, these are just kitchen and bathroom containers. So you can just level it up. I put, thought I'd put a kids one together. To okay, I have to idea. hold this one up. Yeah. So that you can see what you put in there. So there's some licorice, some fruit, you want to give them some good things, some M&Ms, some um, pretzel balls, and some pokey sticks, and some meringues. I like the sweet one in combination with the savory. Yeah, like You have a little absolutely. bit of both. And look, this is not overwhelming because the size yeah. is smaller. Right, and if you've got kids and you want to make it a special day, you don't mm -hmm. have to spend a lot of money to make it special. That one's beautiful in the front. So what did you one, do with that one? I picked this one because I wanted to show you you can level up just by doing different fruit, stuff that you don't normally buy. So this around the outside is blood orange, in the next to it is the dragon fruit, and in the middle is a gooseberry. That's a gooseberry? Mm -hmm. I don't think I knew the gooseberries looked like that. Well, I've cut them into little stars, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, and finally this bigger and one And then over this here. bigger one, this is just a little sectional box. Uh, I got this from the Target $1 section. And you can just divvy it up. So you can have some fruit, some sweets, some savory, some, some some crunch, some salty, all the things that you want. Karen, and you could do it affordably. Absolutely. I mean, that was a buck. And then you have the strawberries, you have the crackers. I mean, whatever, again, right. your family a likes. A lot of people have these things in the house already. You just want to level it up a little bit. Use it. Yeah, okay, help absolutely. us level up when it comes to the cutting. Okay. Well, first, let me just quickly tell you, I oh, am yes. doing a promo for um, Valentine's Day. There's going to be these cute little boxes, and one lucky winner is going to get a C's, um, a C's gift card. Okay, so you so, might find that at the yeah, bottom of your box. Exactly. Well, if you have the yeah, if you have the green star, I'm going to mail it to you. So those are beautifully yeah. put together. Thank and you. And they could be individual or exactly even for two. a great idea for friends. Family, like give it to your sister or your mom. Oh, send that just, to somebody or yeah. just give it to yourself. Exactly. Right? Happy Valentine's exactly. Day. Okay, talk us through. All right, so we're going to make a couple of strawberry stars. Mm -hmm. Come over here. Okay. We've got just a little sharp knife. We're going to start in the middle and we're just going to do a zigzag all the way around like this, horizontally all the way around. Okay, zigzag just right down yep. the center of the strawberry. You just want to make sure that knife is going to go all the way through. Oh, all the way through. These aren't yeah. surface cuts. No. We're going all the because way because we're going to open it up and then you have a star it's so pretty and you can do this technique with any roundish fruit so uh watermelon all the way down to a blueberry look at that okay if i Isn't can do cute? it if i can do it you can do it exactly <laughs> then the next idea is a pear i love to mm -hmm. use pears by cutting them horizontally and then put this with a piece of cheese okay oops it, it, you're so right, just cutting, like that cut looks so much better it's than if so you slice pretty. down the other yeah. way. But also, it's a fantastic cracker. Oh, look at that. And then you've got that crunch and then you have the savory with the, the cheese. Exactly, and you've got that little sweet from the pear as well. So that's a really fun little way to level up with a, an easy, uh, inexpensive fruit. Other common items, if you're just saying, okay, what, how, where do I start with putting it together? So I love a good hummus, and not everybody does, but I've discovered if you level it up with some olive oil, I use a lemon-infused olive oil. Mm. Just pull that over it. Oh, and just drizzle just right on drizzle top. Right and on do top. I stir in or leave? No, because you're going to get that as you dip it through. Okay. And then I like to add some ducker because this is a Middle Eastern dip. We want some Middle Eastern what spices. Is, what is ducker? So it's just a mix of Middle, Middle Eastern herbs and spices. Mm. And you just pop that over it. Okay, so I've had that in my store-bought hummus. Yeah. I did not know what that was. Exactly. So you can do it at home. Absolutely. So now how good is that? Karen, and that smell is... it. Okay, let me smell. 
Oh, the lemon Isn't that smells amazing? so good. That's beautiful. Yeah. That takes just your glob of hummus. Exactly. And you're right. We'll lift it, it right up. It. Okay, what about honey? Okay, so I love to put honey with. Here's a cracker, okay. all and right. my favorite is a brie and honey and prosciutto. Oh, Karen, I can listen so, to you all day long. You're <laughs> so saying all the things I love. So this brie is a local brie from um, Park City Creamery. Okay, while you're putting that together, everyone, I want to tell you where you can order just in time for Valentine's Day. Go to our website. We'll link you to oakfordgourmet.com. You can order on Instagram as well, but abc4.com slash GTU. Karen would love to put all of this together for your Valentine or for you. Okay. Um, and you just made me the perfect bite. Mm -hmm. Thank you so you're much. You're so welcome. Thank